And welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Last time, we defeated Mac of the Smithy Gang and made our ways, way into Karo Sewers. We're on our way to uh, Mallow's grandfather, Frog Fuchsius, in order to hopefully get some direction on where we should go with our quest and maybe find out a little about the star piece that we collected from Mac. Now, we are at the end of the Karo Sewers, more or less got everything there is to care about, and of course I immediately get into an encounter because this area is surrounded by a dozen enemies. But that's okay. You know what, since we're never going to get a chance to do so otherwise, let's show off pure water. As you can see, if you use an undead enemy, or I guess a ghost enemy, I'm not sure if the word undead is kosher enough for this game, uh, you can uh, just kill them immediately with it, or re-kill them, cause them to disappear, whatever, you can kill them. You know, I just noticed, I have not switched my border. We need to make sure that we are getting a good variety of borders here, so let's just make our suspend point. And let's pick a new frame. Uh, let's see, we already used Galactic. Uh, let's, uh, I like this one. I like the city one. Uh, usually I play with this one, honestly. But yeah, isn't, isn't that nice? Anyways, here, what do we got? This must be Bloom. Is that a fire hose or his tongue? Uh, I'm gonna assume it's his tongue. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. Ah, it's a snack attack, and you're it! Anyways, it's time to fight Bloom, and honestly, this is not a terribly complicated fight. It's basically identical to the Mac fight, except honestly kind of a bit easier. I'm going to be following the exact same strategy that I used for the fight against Mac, just to have Mario focus on doing jumps. Room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? And as you can see, he mostly attacks with physical attacks, but he does mix it up a little bit uh, as the fight goes on. Now, I could probably eke out a little more damage if I had Mallow use Thunderbolt on him, since this guy is not immune to it. But overall, I just find it to be a more economical use of my flower points to have uh, Mario spam the much stronger jump attack over and again, over and over again. Stick for a body, head full of straw, give me a scarecrow, rah, rah, rah. And this is uh, the thing that he'll mainly do once you get into the second half of the fight. He will cast Scrow Funk on you, which turns your character into a scro Scarecrow and robs them of the ability to use uh, basic physical attacks. But, uh, oh, and items. Okay, so you can't use items as a Scarecrow either. Uh, this ailment comes up so rarely, I don't even know what the full extent of what it does. But we're still perfectly capable of jumping, so it basically doesn't set us back at all. It does not hinder Mario in the slightest. Can't stand it. The hunger. The hunger! And he will eat up one of your characters and take them out of the fight for a bit, but will York them back up after you deal a certain amount of damage, which of course we can easily meet those thresholds with jumps. As you can see, I'm not exactly- that was scary! As you can see, I'm not exactly getting the timings for jumps right to get the most damage, but it's still more than enough. If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood. And, of course, we get a nice assortment of coins for defeating him, a nice boost of experience, and nothing else to report. But what did he mean, beware the flood? Below must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Uh, Mario, do you hear something? Or is it just me? Water! Here comes, quick, Mario, hit the button before we're washed away! And unfortunately, even though he said Mario should hit it, Mallow should hit it, and he did just not have the constitution to stay on that button. But this thrust us into a mini game. This is the Midas River course. Want to crash course on it? No, no, we, we should be fine for this. Now off you go. So we're going to be going into a bit of a free fall here with coins and frog coins along the way. Obviously, we want to get the frog coins. If you mash the jump button, you can paddle up a little bit to extend your uh, descent. And these little rocks here are actually uh, entryways into these mini cutscene areas. Going through these will usually result in you getting some rewards. This one, though, not so much. But that's okay. As you can see, it spits us out into these uh, tracks leading to these trampolines, which just bounces us right back into uh, the course again. So we want to head this way, get the frog coin. If you see frog coins, you should always go for them. Super valuable. Always desirable to have them, unless you get some very, very potent items. And we're taken into another sort of cutscene area. But as you can see, there's a flower there. Now this one goes on for a bit longer, but we get to see the... Not quite Rube Goldberg, I guess, but the bit of a long trail the flower is sent on. But it's just getting passed around like crazy. But after enough of a struggle between the two enemies, 
we get the flower for ourselves. Now, you are actually able to redo the Midas uh, River course, and for these ones where you've seen the scene, you will not be able to get an additional flower. It is a one-time thing only. Ditto for the frog coins for when you are able to redo this. The frog coins are a one-time spawn. You can never get any more of them from the course after you have grabbed them. All right, so let me see. don't remember quite where I want to go. At. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think I'm going to be... Yeah, I went the wrong way. We needed to go right. Not a super big deal. I believe you could have gotten another flower if you went to the right, but it is not a major deal. Now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? No thank you. Well, it looks like you're ready, so I'll send you on your way. But yes, this is the barrel jumping event. Uh, you will be... You can either jump between the barrels, or you can let the barrels collide, and it'll send you on a different track, ideally with one with more coins, but it's actually pretty hard to tell which path is going to have more coins. Uh, you just kind of have to bump, in, or, uh, bump or jump and see what happens. But this event is pretty straightforward. Uh, it will uh, mix up a little bit the further we get in, but for the most part, you're just jumping as you pass the coins. It can be a little tricky to time it, but it's not overly difficult. Now, what is the main reward for doing this? Do we just get the money directly? Not quite. There is a reason to do this course, although I'll admit uh, it is not super good. Uh, let me see. Okay, so now we've got these fish coming in, and if you, they hit you, you will lose some of the coins you've been collecting up to this point. So you do have to be mindful of when they're coming down the scre screen, and hopefully jump over them and not let them collide with you. As you uh, pick up speed, they will come at a faster rate themselves, and sometimes they will try to get you while you are jumping for coins, but I am getting pretty uh, lucky at evading these guys. And it looks like we've hit the end. Coming out onto here, this toad just get, makes a little platform for us, and we got 49 coins. Actually, one of the better runs I've gotten of this. Trade the coins you got from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time bonus, first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones on tadpoles ponds got more info on them. You got 49 coins, but that's not enough to cash in, so I'll hold on to them for you, okay? Come back and try again. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. And he gives us the Knock Knock Shell, a mistranslated item. It is, of course, supposed to be a Koopa Troopa shell, but uh, I believe it is derived from the Japanese name for the Koopa Troopas, which Ted Woolsey was not exactly familiar with directly translating the terminology rather than just being told it. So, unfortunately, some uh, mistakes like that got into the final product. But it is a superior weapon to the hammer that we have been using thus far, so we may as well equip it and make our way into Tadpole Pond. Now we got a quite a bit of lengthy cutscene coming up, but uh, we will get illuminated on what we need to do in this game. Hey, there's the tadpole. Awfully big for a tadpole, though. Hi, can I help you? Mallow, it's you! We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Balome, right? You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news fit that's fit to hear. Are you really THE Super Mario? Hey everybody, you'll never guess who's here! He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. Well, let's take a little jump for these guys. Not to show off at all, but we do impress them with our jumping skills. Well, little grasshopper, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. The rainstorm we just had. That was you, wasn't it? Oh, busted. Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Well, I'm not going to pay any mind to that, because look, this old man is flying. That is absolutely what is happening here. Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I am Frog Fucius. You've come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, hold wise people can often give good advice. Uh, you, yeah, your uh, special effects kind of falling apart there. Okay, okay, the illusion is maintained. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear. Full reverse. Expertly done, Frog Fuchsias. Tadpoles, don't just float there. Make it so useful. Form a bridge for Mario. 
And with that, we get a nice little convenient tadpole bridge. These guys can hold up Mario's weight no problem, allowing us to get to Frog Fuchs's Island. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep. He's quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But, oh, if you only knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there. Dramatic pause. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here's what happened. You were rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split the sky. I appreciate the demonstration, but I was there. Whoosh! Out of the blue! The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost, somewhere out there. Now. You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. I found a star in the castle at Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now, more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No, 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 the, don't, don't buzz buzz me. Let's just uh, move on. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was the only first of many. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure too. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Oh, what's this? Music's dropping. Mallow, my boy, I've kept this from you until now. But you're... NOT A TADPOLE! Dun dun dun. Say what? Massive bombshell. Nobody could have seen that coming. I was sitting here one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets. And I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Malo was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not Tadpole? Sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. Mallow, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there, somewhere. Psst, Mario. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Absolutely, we could use more party members. Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First go to Rose Town, where they need your help. You know, though, I feel like we're forgetting something. Wasn't there a particular reason we came here? Uh, well, Mallow in particular, uh, came to Mushroom Kingdom and then returned here for Frog Fuchsia's sake? Let let's talk to him, see if he can't jog our memory. It'll be quiet around here with Mallow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. Ah, yes, the snack. That's right, I'd have forgotten all about it. I'll give you something for the cricket bot pie you brought back. Ah, I know. You shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. Now, you do not actually need to collect the cricket pie before leaving Mushroom Kingdom, nor do you need to uh, give it to Frog Fuchsius to advance the game right now, but you do need to eventually give it to Frog Fuchsius to uh, advance the game at a later point, and it can be very confusing if you don't have it at this moment. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. So, we get the Froggy Stick for completing the Cricket Pie quest, and this is Mallow's first equipable weapon, giving him a little bit more punching power, or I suppose just hitting power in general, giving a cool 20, uh, plus 20 to his attack. Still doesn't really compare to Mario's attack power, at least, uh, 
in terms of natural stats, but and he'll quickly fall behind, but still, every little bit helps him. We'll help him save on flower points when uh, we don't need him to thunderbolt anything. Now that we've uh, completed talking to Frog Fuchsias, a few things open up for us. Welcome to the Juice Bar. Are you a card member? Even Todovsky has a membership here. Todovsky? Sorry, you're limited to this menu if you don't have a current membership card. But yes, this is the Froggy Bar. At this bar, they sell Froggy Drinks, a party-wide recovery of 30 HP, flatly superior to basic mushrooms. So if you want to uh, give yourself some better healing, you can stock up on some of these. But there are other items available at this place if we have the requisite member cards. How do we get those? Well, patience, my friends, patience. Over here, welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. Your first timer, aren't you? Listen up, the green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them, and you can buy items at Tadpole Pond. So yes, this is the first location where we can utilize frog coins, buying unique, well, not unique, but uh, difficult to obtain items that uh, can be pretty helpful. Sleep bomb, Sleepy Bomb puts enemies to sleep, which I would never bother using this, it's usually just more effective to kill enemies. Uh, Bracer raises an enemy or an ally's defense by 50%. Energizer does the same for attack power, but the most valuable items you can get here for five coin frog coins apiece are the Power Blast and the Crystalline. These apply the defense buff and the attack buff, respectively, to your entire party, making these very, very powerful items very helpful for a wide array of fights. Uh, these are th This frog coin shop is the easiest way to obtain these items, though there are a handful of enemies in the game who do award these items as drops, and it's a very good idea to keep track of what enemies those are. Heading over this way, uh, there is another section to the Tadpole Pond. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Todovsky. My favorite song? It's Frog Fuchsius' Suite, number 18. So la mi re do re do re. Todovsky is fond of it too. So yes, play attention to that note sequence, and then we will head into Melody Bay. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. So, what if we played that melody that uh, we had just gotten? Now, something that you can do if you want a primer on how this works is you can talk to Todovsky here, and he'll give you a tutorial on how to utilize the uh, melody pond and what uh, notes you can play by hitting uh, certain parts on the notation sheet. But luckily, uh, on GameFAQ, somebody has uh, compiled the melodies you need to play. Now, these are gotten from various locations in the game. There are three melodies you can play, all of them tied to being at specific points in the story. The first one we can play is Frog Fuchsius' Suite 18 that we just learned from the Tadpole. In order to successfully play this one, of course you'd have to get the notes from the Tadpole out there, write them down, get the crash course on how to uh, construct or compose music from Todoski if you are not familiar with music composition, which I am not, and then play out the melody that you learned. So let's uh, get on this get these guys into position, and I'm going to be going on this a little slowly just to make sure I'm reading the notation correctly. But as you can see, every time you jump, you get a nice little uh, ding letting you know you're playing the note. And uh, I let this guy go a little too far, but uh, we can get onto this. I looked ahead a little bit, get onto this guy. Okay, let that guy pass, but we need him to go back up to this uh, bar right here. And okay, let me see, so we got two more to play. So, this one, and this one, and this should be Todovsky or Frog Fuchsia's suite number 18. And if you played the correct melody, that's it! This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. We get an Alto card. This is our first membership card to the Froggy Juice Bar. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, Aju. <laughs> and then Todovsky gets off, uh, or goes away, in order to try and create his masterpiece, which we just plagiarized for him. Good stuff, good stuff. But with that Alto card, we can now return to the Froggy Juice Bar and get a new item. Each card that you get unlocks an additional uh, healing item to buy. Ah, an Alto card holder. What would you like? Now, for our first card, we can now purchase Elixirs, which restore 80 HP to the entire party. Pretty solid, so let's buy uh, just a couple of those, in case we ever need them. Honestly, at this point in the game, froggy drinks are probably equally effective for the moments where I'll need that kind of healing. But, for but uh, why not get a couple of better items ahead of time? 
Alright, so, you can't jump on or off when the block is blue. Try jumping when the block turns yellow. So, in Roseway, we can get onto these blocks and go to different little islands here. As you can see, there are items to collect along the way. Starfish who will pop out and try to run into us when we uh, cross over. So, but these guys are not too much of a threat to worry about. Head over to this platform right here to get a flower. We want to get onto this one next and get onto here. And we will find a couple of blocks flying through the air with some enemies on them. Now, you want to be careful uh, because if you uh, nudge into these blocks, it will actually stop them in their tracks and kind of mess up the timing that you need to hit in order to uh, get uh, from platform to platform on these. So be very careful to get on these without accidentally blocking them. You do just want to jump from the center. Uh, these starfish are weak to thunder. Any kind of like aquatic theme enemy is usually weak to lightning type attacks. Uh, that's uh, one of those simple uh, RPG rule of thumb things. So let me see if we can't get this guy off of here. And I did mess up the timing slightly there. I don't think it was too much, so I should be able to uh, not have to worry too much about uh, making the jumps there. But if I keep screwing jumps up, I will uh, cut ahead to when I actually get it. And just showing this fight off because it's uh, short and I was in the middle of a thought, so I didn't want to break it. Gives us a chance to show off the Knock Knock Shell. Uh, to get the timed hit for it, uh, you want to uh, kick it again as it's coming down. Or rather, hit the button to on the kick as it's coming down. Hmm. I think the timing's a little messed up there. But fortunately, you leave the screen, the enemies are gone. So yeah, now they're back in sync. We should be able to get onto that. You do have to kind of hit the center there, or as you can see, you get dragged off. Timing is a little bit messed up here, but we should be able to get on as long as I uh, do this properly. And of course, we're doing this in the... Okay, I'm messing up the block positioning again. Uh, we're doing this in the interest of getting the chest over there. And yes, there are many fairly difficult jumping puzzles like this in the game. Just because the isometric perspective does make it a little tricky to uh, land these jumps as intended. Okay, so this isn't working out too well. Alright, I'm gonna try it again. If I keep screwing up at this point, I'm going to uh, cut ahead. So uh, let me try and get this correctly. There we go. You get that jump correctly, and you get a frog coin for your effort. It's not the most worthwhile uh, frog coin in the game, but hey. Completionist, right? Completionist. Alright, so let's ride on top of this. I believe, uh, yeah, we have to go on this one. You can jump as you are going uh, across the lake uh, in order to uh, get some of those coins that are floating over, over the water. Over here we got a new type of enemy, these thieves here. Uh, these guys have a chance to run away from combat, and if you're not faster than them, they most likely will do so. Uh, there are, we do not have any ways to increase our speed at this point in the game, so we just kind of have to deal with that. If you are able to kill them, though, they give a pretty good amount of coins. Alright, so we should be able to kill them here. We should be able to kill both of them here. We'll use jump to keep powering it up and get the most out of it. And then let's uh, give this guy a quick whack here. And he ran away, unfortunately. But let's just see what we got for our efforts there. Five experience points, ten coins. Not terrible for this point in the game. Just taking an uh, inventory of my flower points there. Heading into this next section, got some more blocks to go across here. Nothing too fancy. So let's, uh, I believe uh, the one uh, that we just passed there, that's the one that'll take us to where we need to go to complete this area. But we'll just keep riding on this because there are other rewards we can get. Oh hey, new enemy here. Uh, the Arachne can potentially poison you, but they're not terribly threatening. Honestly, most of the things at this point in the game aren't that threatening, so I wouldn't concern myself, myself with them too much. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't use Thunder on the Thief, uh, they are slightly resistant to it, so it wouldn't be that much more likely to kill them than uh, Mallow's Thunder did there. So as you can see, uh, this way is a path back to the entrance, if for some reason, reason you want to take that. I don't really care too much to try and get those coins there. Let me see here. Sorry, uh, I just got a uh, complete... I'm completely zoned out at the moment. Uh, I'm obviously not doing the right thing. Let's uh, keep riding back. Whoopsie. Okay, okay. Let's get back onto this one. I'm obviously way too distracted by the coins here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I already lost track of uh, what we were doing. The, the, sometimes I lose the plot. You'll have to forgive me. I'm pretty tired by the end of the day. Heading into this area, there is a ton of coin boxes with shy guys on them. Uh, you can... 
Oh, hey, actually, new enemy. Uh, these guys, uh, these Snapdragons, are, I believe, are somewhat resistant to jump-type attacks. Okay, okay, not too bad. But they're definitely resistant to uh, lightning-type attacks, so uh, definitely you want to stick to uh, using the froggy stick here. That is another uh, thing that uh, can definitely be a bit annoying if you didn't grab the cricket pie, is that you do not have access to the froggy stick at this point, which means Malo's normal attack is even weaker than it otherwise would be. So we'll uh, grab a few coins from these things, not concern ourselves too much with getting the rewards. And just get ever so slightly more money. There is a recovery shroom, giving us more flower points to fight things as we progress through this area, though I believe we're at the end, so yeah, we're at the end. Whoop, get back here, Mallow. So, looks like we've got a meeting of Bowser and the Koopalings. Been a while since we've seen Bowser. Alright, people, form ranks. Attention, shelled warriors. Hooded sorcerers. And last, but not least, groundling Goombas. Not exactly sure what the Goomba did there to give a wink. This is our finest moment. The Koopa Troop is invincible. We shall be victorious. The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out, on the double. So, it looks like Bowser has not lost heart, and he fully intends to reclaim his keep from the Smithy Gang. Uh, good luck there, Koopa King. Bowser and his troops must be on their way to Bowser's keep. Come on, Rose Town is just up ahead. Alright, so, let's get into Rose Town here. Sounds like a delightful place. Hmm, a little bit more morose than I was expecting. And geez, that guy just got nailed in the head with an arrow. See, arrows come flying out, fr from, out from the forest, and when you're hit, you can't move. See? Look, I can't move a muscle. Now I know how a scarecrow feels. Yes, Rose Town seems to be under siege from a variety of arrows. And uh, several of the people want to go someplace fun. Standing around here is so boring. So yes, uh, anybody who's been struck by an arrow is just stuck here. We're told not to go outside because it's too dangerous. And yeah, the looks like the one brother, unfortunately, is not that lucky. <laughs> Grandpa's pumping some water for us. I wish I, I, we could help, too. I'm worried about my grandson. He went out to play, but didn't come back when he should have. Yeah, your grandson's not doing so hot. I tell you, it's scary out here, but somebody's got to pump the water. Man, if only there was something we could do about this. There's a handful of things for us to check out in Rose Town to start, uh, but we're uh, going to ignore one of the major things we can do here uh, until... Uh, actually, no, no, I should be able to check it out. Okay, so heading into here, uh, you can go in through the chimney of the item shop and get a flower here, but there is another thing to collect. On the opposite side, there is a hidden chest with a frog coin. Been a little bit since we had a hidden chest. Mario, good to have a customer at last. What do you need? So this guy over here sells items. Let me just take a... Yeah, I'm fine on basically anything I could want to have. This counter over here has equipment, though. Hello, Mario. It's so nice of you to drop by the shop. What can I do for you? So here we can buy our first armor upgrade. Thick shirt and thick pants. And we can buy uh, a fearless pin, our first opportunity to get one of those. Pretty expensive, but we have the spare money for it. Let's uh, get all equipped up, giving ourselves a bit more defense. Get the fearless pin on Mallow so that he has the extra defense from that. Don't really care about fearless at this point. Uh, the fearless status reduces your attack power by half, so it's pretty annoying when you do have to suffer from it. Now, talking to this guy over here... There's a stairway that leads to my house, but my son's been playing with the controls again. Mario, only you could jump up there. Please help me get my house. Please help me get back up to my house. So, we can jump on this guy's head and go into his house. Now, heading into this house, there are a couple treasure chests. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a suspend point real quick. And we're just going to steal this guy's treasure. Here we get a flower and another flower. Nice. And if we talk to the sun up here, What's taking Daddy so long? Do you think he's still looking for the treasure? We can jump on this switch here, and voila, a staircase has opened up. Thanks a million, Mario. Mario. Say, were my treasures okay? Uh, um, uh, not quite. You're kidding! What? They're gone! Mario, you're the only one who can reach them. S sorry, I got carried away. Oh well. Since we didn't get hit by any arrows, I'll tell you a secret. Enter the forest. When you hit the area of four paths, go left, left, straight, right. In that order, you'll surely find something nice. 
Now that's actually kind of interesting. I didn't know this, but uh, let's uh, let's make another spend point here. Uh, I didn't realize he would still tell you the secret even if you stole the treasures, but what if we didn't steal the treasures and we just let him back in? So let's go back out. And here we go. Thanks a million, Mario. Say, were my treasures okay? Oh, they sure were. Oh, that's great news. What a relief. Since we didn't get hit by any arrows, I'll tell you a secret. Enter the forest. When you hit an area with four paths, go left, left, straight, right, in that order. Now, if you, uh, don't steal this guy's treasures, they will instead be replaced with coins, much less valuable than the flowers. Now, that secret that he tells you, it's the same regardless of whether or not you do the quest honestly. And I, I actually did not know he would still tell you the secret even if you stole his treasures. So, let's, uh, let's, uh, go back with keeping the flowers, since that's pretty, uh, valuable. Now, there is one other thing to grab here. A hidden chest on the bed, getting you a frog coin. But yes, it is very worth your while to know that uh, secret path in the forest maze, which we'll be getting to in the next video. Now, heading over to the hotel here. Mario, help! <laughs> hey, Mario, I'll be taking care of Princess Toadstool now. Boing, boing. Super jump attack. Oh no, Mario's being defeated. <laughs> you think you can hurt me with your childish pranks? Attention, Toadstool. You're coming with me. Zip your lip. Help! Help! Somebody please help me! Ha! Oh my gosh. It's... Mom! Mom, look. We have a guest. Yes, dear. I hear you. Hello there. Why aren't you Mario? For real? Well, you have the hat and the funky stash. Are you really Mario? You betcha. How do I know it's you? You might just be pulling my leg. Show me. Prove it. What other way could we prove it by? All right. Hey Mario, want to play with me? I'm playing Save the World. Now guess, Mario might be a little tired, dear. Now come on, Mom. You never play with me. It's no fun playing alone. Oh dear. Mario, I had to ask, but could you play with Gaz for a little while? Alright, come on, we, we could use a little break from the adventure. Yes, Mario just bought the farm, so, um, you can be Bowser. I'll be Gino, okay? Gino, huh? Ready? Let's play from where I left off. All set? Alright, Mario's getting into this. Ooh, scary, but just watch me. Better watch out, Bowser, because Gino's gonna blow you away. Take this. Ooh, playing a little rough. Your turn, Bowser. Mario does not hold back for a child. Oh, no, no, if he keeps this up, I'm finished. All right, you asked for it. The super duper, custom patented, one and only shooting star shot. Oh dear, oops, I think I missed. Oh dear, Mario, are you all right? Womp womp, Mario has been knocked out cold by a four-year-old. Or however old Gaz is supposed to be. Now, in the middle of the night... Hmm, what's going on here? Interesting. Some kind of... star? And it looks like the star has made a choice. It seems to be... I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something to the Geno figure. Is he, like, combining with it? Well, now. Looks like Geno has been brought to life. Hmm, doesn't look like he quite has his land legs yet. Oh dear. Well, hopefully he doesn't get himself into too much trouble. But it looks like Gino is leaving the building. Hmm, curious. Wonder what that could all be about. 
But I'm afraid that's where we're gonna have to leave this video. Conveniently, there is a save point for us in this room right here, so we can save off our progress and call the video. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, uh, <laughs> sorry, yeah, I'm all over the place today. Until then, have a good day, I'll see you next time, all that jazz, goodbye.